Hi everyone. In this video tutorial, we're going to outline how you can create a macro within Microsoft Excel, which will find and select the cell at the bottom of your data set. Okay, so this is really useful if you have a table and you want to find and select the cell at the bottom of that table, which contains data. So we're going to get started. First of all, if you are new to Excel macros and VBA coding, you will need to follow this short playlist here to make sure you can follow along with the rest of this video. So please go ahead and do that if you haven't already done so. If not, we're going to carry on. So let's make a start. As you can see, we've got a small example we're going to show you today. We have a table, and if you look at the A column, we have a selection of uh, data that's within different cells in a tabular form. What our macro will do is search column A for the last cell that contains data. So in this case, cell A15, it will then select that cell. So I'll just show you this in action. I'll select a random cell. If I now press my macro, you can see it selected cell A15. Now this is a, something I want to mention with regards to this macro. It does rely on that cell containing data. And I want to show you this in practice because this is important when it comes to applying this macro to your own uh, different needs. So if I delete, for instance, some of these data points, if I now run my macro again, it's going to select cell A10 because that is now the cell at the bottom of our data set which contains data. So I want to just show you that so you can get your head around how this works. Okay, so we're going to make a start in terms of looking at the code. So let's open up our macro. Okay, it's only a single line of code. Now I will paste this in the description below. There's only one change you need to make with regards to suiting this to your own personal needs. And that is this letter here. As I've just mentioned, we were searching cell or column A for our last data point. If the last data point that you're looking for resides in a different column, so column B, you would need to reflect that by changing this here. So you would change A to B. If it lies in column F, you would want to change this to F. Okay, the rest of this code you can leave exactly how it is. So all you will need to do is paste this line between private sub and n sub. If needed, modify this letter. I'm going to show you this in action by changing it to B. And that's it. So if I just close this down now. Now when I run this command, it's going to select cell B3 because that's the last cell it's looking at that contains data within our data set. So I'll just show you this in action. You can see it's selected cell B3. I hope it's been helpful. What we're going to do from here is use this to then build upon the different applications you can then make it do from that point onwards. Okay, if this has been helpful, please like or subscribe to the channel or both. It's much appreciated. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the playlist if this didn't all make sense. And we'll see you next time.